Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and I shot this video a few days ago on the day that I was editing the video that I put up just previous to this about uh, a new uh, route that I could uh, ride on my e-bike. And I wanted to get an aerial view of uh, the area so that I could show that <laughs> and and so you could see the, the so folks could see the route. So anyway, uh, it was real breezy, breezy that day, and I had been flying my uh, Mini 3 a lot lately, but I decided it's a little breezy, so I'll go ahead and fly my Air 2S because it's much more heavy. Well, I hadn't flown the Air 2S. This is December, and I hadn't flown my Air 2S for, uh, well, uh, let's see, I guess it was two months or so. And in November, they upgraded the firmware for the Air 2S and, of course, the Mini 3, which I had already taken care of. So I didn't think about it. So then before I could take off, I had to, uh, uh, or I wanted to, update the firmware. So I updated the firmware in the drone and then the firmware in its controller. And uh, one of my rules is anytime I take off, anytime I upgrade firmware before I take off, I make sure that nothing's been changed in all my settings. And, of course, on that day, I just wanted to get an aerial view, and so I just took off after <laughs> after uh, upgrading the firmware. And so, uh, because I was in a hurry, I wanted to get my editing done. So, anyways, you could might have been able to tell as I flew this thing that my uh, my yaw and my gimbal settings were, were pretty much messed up. And so... Uh, I, I went ahead and, and I finished the, uh, the flight, got the video all done, and then uh, came back. And then after I finished that video, the next day, I decided, well, <laughs> I think I better go in and uh, check, check my yaw and uh, uh, gimbal settings. And it used to be kept in a place called Advanced Gimbal Settings, and so I started looking for it. And of course, this is uh, fast. <laughs> this was the next day, by the way. No, this was same day. And uh, I saw so I was going through trying to find that advanced gimbal settings, and it wasn't under control. But as you can see, I'm going back and forth, and everything I could not find what I was looking for. Uh, it's not in safety. It's not in the camera. It's not in transmission. <laughs> it's supposed to be in control. And I looked, and finally. I found it. <laughs> so let's listen in to uh, what comes next. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, we're going to take off and we are going to take see if off. we can get this done right this time. So here we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this uh, other part works while we're at it here. Turn around. Where am I? There I am, right there. Okay. Get back here a little bit. We'll see if it still works. Yeah. Skip. Skip. Close. Okay, we're going to go active track. So now we're going to go ahead and get off of active track and uh, oh we hit the X there that's what we do okay <clears throat> so now we're going to come down a little bit <laughs> and come in a little closer all right so <clears throat> we're going to go through the settings that I was talking about uh, on the introduction so we'll go over to go over to the upper upper right hand corner and we go to control and then we come down to gain and expo tuning so uh, expo stands for exponential which is something that uh, if flying RC planes it comes in really really handy so uh, all right so maximum angular velocity is uh, 20 degrees per second and so when we uh, move the uh, Fly cautiously. Aircraft like this, well then, uh, it 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 goes at 
20 degrees per second. But if we want it to go really fast, move that over there. Now then, it pops around really fast, see? So what we want to do, it depends on what you're up, what you're doing, but for, uh, for normal mode, which is what we're in, we'll probably set that, I like it down as low as low as possible, but uh, somewhere in there. And then yaw smoothness, uh, let's go back over here where, uh, now we got it so it goes really slow. That's all right though. Yaw smoothness, if we want to go uh, make it down to zero, well then it starts and goes, you know, quickly. If we want to make it go smoother, we dang that way up there. And then it takes off really slow, okay? So now we got that. <clears throat> now let's go down to Expo. Stands for exponential. Pitch and roll is for like the Avada, uh, and if you want, you, you can fly these FPV also. So we won't mess with that because I never, I never fly that. But uh, if you'll notice, like on the up and down, okay, that's the that's the gimbal setting, okay. Uh, if we just leave it straight, well then when I move it, it just jumps right into it, okay. But if I move this. Uh, up and down so that it's like that well then it's going to start out really slow and that's really nice in in our seat planes because then you don't overcorrect, so it gives you a chance to just move a little bit so that's that and then <clears throat> uh it for for uh normal flight you don't need to have it so much like that so so uh we'll put it about like that and then yaw uh let's look at that one Whoop, come on. That's the blue one, if I can get my finger on it. There we go. And I like it all to start out smooth. So I'm just going to bring them all down here like that. It depends on what you're, what you're after. Okay. Now we'll come down to the gimbal. And uh, <clears throat> if, if the, uh, the higher value indicates the faster gimbal rotation. And so we're going to put that at 10 degrees per second. And... If, it, if you want it to move faster, like in, for instance, in uh, normal mode, maybe you want it to go a little faster. So then you'd, now it, whoa, now it really moves fast, okay? So, so with just that, and then also, uh, we got jet going over. Anyway, the tilt smoothness is, uh, it, like if you don't want it to be smooth, well then, bingo, it just goes like that. But if you want it to run smooth, then you move it over there, and now we got it. Okay, so that's all the normal mode settings, okay? So let's go back up to the top, and I'm going to put it on cinematic. So now we're on cinematic, so we're going to go over to the cinematic menu. And now this is where I like it to go really, really slow. So uh, I've got it 20 degrees per second, and... Uh, so it moves pretty slow. Maybe, you know, if you're in cinematic mode, you don't need it that slow. But when I'm in cinematic mode, I like it really, really slow. And then the smoothest is the same thing. If you want it to, to run smoother than that, then we bring it over. And for cinematic mode, I like it to be just as smooth as possible. So, and then we go down to Expo. And the same thing, as you can see, I've got them already set, but it's the same thing. If you move that straight like that, it's going to pop right into it. If you move it over <clears throat> uh, to point one, then it's going to it's going to take it's going to go real nice and easy. So let's let's do it the other way so you can see. Cinematic mode, I don't like it to be like that, but but um, that's that you know the yaw just goes really fast. So now we'll put it back like in cinematic mode. I like it all down there, and <clears throat> uh, the up down. <clears throat> the up down is the same thing uh, for the uh, the gimbal maximum control speed is uh, let's see this is uh, up and down if you want it to be really fast you know you can go up here and make it go faster like that that's for the gimbal so we'll move it back because I like it really slow and we don't want one we want about Oh, about 10 degrees or something like that. So then 
it goes and then smoothness I like the smoothness as high as possible as you can see here whoops okay so so that's the settings and then we'll go back up to the top here for sport mode I don't pay much attention to that because if I'm going in sport mode I just like it to take off and go we could go over here and look at it <clears throat> but uh, we don't, I don't change the angle of anything and so uh, I, and I only fly in sport mode to go from point A to point B. So anyway, um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, and uh, let me see. We'll go back to cinematic mode because I think that's where. Let's see. What I'm, I'm in cinematic mode. So we can just get out of there. I'm all done. <laughs> anyway. So uh, so anyway, I want to thank you. Thank you for watching. And we'll go ahead and just see if the, see if we can get this to follow me back over here to the landing spot. Skip, close, mm -hmm. active track. All right, so we're going to go over here. There's the landing pad right there. So, yeah, I think we're just going to get off of active track. And I want to thank you for watching my videos, and God bless.